people's pain. I bet that many of us have heard it from our parents and relatives. Ki log kya karenge? And to be honest enough, it kind of hurt sometimes. My name is Fatima Jahangir and I'm from 7th batch. And in my perspective, a judgment can be classified into two categories. A good judgment and a bad judgment. A good judgment is you're, when you're fair, not biased, blinded by any superstition. But you only can do it when the fellow person is comfortable with it. Then there is a the second judgment, that's a bad judgment. I think we are very well aware of that. It's when people judge without knowing the full story, without knowing the reason the person did it, and they speak. So sometimes we confuse an advice and a judgment. Mostly we the teenagers, we try to other, respect others' opinion and end up sacrificing your own dreams and wishes. Just like a person has just completed his or her goals, and now they have to choose a stream. So the parents pressure them to choose engineering as their scope. But the fellow person wants to choose humanities, so he ends up sacrificing his whole dream and goes with the colored opinion. So I just want to ask those people, why? It's your future and you get to decide it. There was, a, uh, there was a study at the University of Tampa about addiction to opinions, which is we worry about the consequences about other people's opinion. We act like it doesn't affect us, but somehow, sometimes, it affects the way we think and the way we act about things, which are not basically us. It's not always a family or relative's opinion. Sometimes it's the friend's opinion, or we can say the peer pressure. Just like you remember on the first day of the session, your concern about how you look, how are you belonging, will people like the way you became in the holidays or the way you are. Now is not the time about grieving about the past. But this is the time we can rectify it and stop caring about opinions and which affect us in a very negative way. So if we keep these three things in mind, it will be easier for us. First thing is that if we really want to like save us from these opinions, from that negative energy, we should just understand that their opinion towards us is just an opinion. It doesn't matter they think you're not a good friend. They are, uh, you're not a good human, you're not perfect. But many people in this world think you're a good friend, you're perfect, you're a good human being, you're a good friend. But those opinions shouldn't matter you also. <clears throat> The opinion that matters is, is yours. The opinion that matters is yours. The opinion you think that you're perfect, you're, you're good, you're a good friend, you're a good human being. That's what matters. And nobody enjoys being misliked. But changing the way others think of you relentlessly is your time. The second one is, we should be our own true self. We want to be liked by everyone. Everyone does. We try to be like them. We try to blend in that crowd. But in my perspective, a person shines the brightest when he or she is its own true self. And then the third, we actually know this. No one actually cares, except our own family. Sometimes they also don't. Those friends and those friends and relatives just want you to care about their opinion and their perspective of life just to observe to be yours. 